Good evening, everyone. How are you? Good evening. Hi, how is everyone doing after the rain? ¿Cómo están después de la lluvia? Teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's one. Um, what about, well, is everyone okay? No damages, nothing? Están todo bien, nadie sufrió por cáncer ni nada. With the rain? Oh, it's okay, teacher. Perfect. All right, so tonight we're going to, we're going to start um, with the final exam. Remember? Um, Idealmente ya todos tendrían que haberlo terminado, así que vamos a repasarlo en este punto, ¿ok? Give me one moment. And let me know when you can see the screen. Me avisen cuando vean la pantalla. Yeah. All right, perfect. So, let's see. This one, it's, well, permítame que no les compartí el sonido. Just a minute. This one is the listening section. So we're going to. Okay. Let's go with this. All right, you're going to listen to Helen and Mark's conversations and select the best answer to the questions, all right? Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Okay, escuchémoslo una vez más y luego contestamos. Just a minute. Cuando decida destrabarse esta cosa. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. All right. So, number one, where are Helen and Mark going? Veamos. According to the conversation, are they going to a bank in a department store, a bank in a gas station, or a gas station in a department store? A bank and a department store. Correct. Number one, they are going to the bank and a department store. Very good. Number two, where is Smith's department store? On the corner of First and Main. On the corner of First and Main. Okay. Very good. And let's see. Let's go out with conversation number two. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Three. Um... So how do we get there from here? Well, we're on 2nd now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up 2nd to Main. 
Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. All right. How do you get there? Number three. We can answer number three. According is, to the conversation? Is el number three. <laughs> no alcanzó. Yes. Walk up second to main turn right. Walk up second to main turn right. Number three. Thank you. And number four. What is Mark going to buy? A sweater. Sweater. A sweater. All right. He's going to buy a sweater. Correct. And with that one, you complete section one. Y con eso ustedes ya habrían completado la sección uno, que es la parte de listening. Okay? Then on section number two, you have to complete the sentences. All right? You have to look at the map, obviously, to complete the sentences. Okay? So the department store. And we look for the department store in the map. Okay? One moment. Si pueden ver el mapa ya amplio. Sí. Okay, good. Department store. We're going to locate it. Where do you? I see the drugstore. And let's see the other one. So the department store is the bank. So which one would you choose? And we're going back to the map. Okay. Next. They are next to each other. Correct. So the department store is next to next the bank. Thing. Correct. Number two. ¿Quién me ayuda? Veamos. Volunteers, number two. Let's see. Elizabeth del Carmen, please. Uh, All coffee shop is. Okay, busquemos al coffee shop. Uh, um. Acá está en la esquina. Al's Coffee Shop. Dale. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Entonces nos dice que. Ay, one moment. Al's Coffee Shop is. Across. Um, across. The Al's, Al's Coffee Shop is across from the movie theater. Thank you. All right, and we're going with Reina Esperanza. Reina number three. Maria's Restaurant is... Uh -huh. Maria's Restaurant. El bajo el que son otros. Aquí está ah, la calle. It's, aquí está el banco y aquí está la calle. Uh -huh. Y aquí está ubicado. So, María's restaurant is. Entonces sería on the corner. Uh -huh. Veámosla. María's restaurant is on the corner of. May Street and Second Avenue. Correct. That is the right one. Yes. Okay. Then we go to section number C. And in this one, you're going to select the best answer. Okay. 
And we have question number one. Okay, so we have five questions. Ocupamos cinco voluntarios. Cada uno va a, va a leer uno, okay? So, levantemos la manita y yo les voy a asignar. We need five volunteers. Thank you. Vamos con Kevin, Daniel. You will be number one. Reina, number two. Jancy, number three. Elizabeth del Carmen, you will be number four. Y Catherine Iracema, you will be number five. Vamos. Number one. Kevin. Uh, this uh, were your parents born in the U.S.? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Very good. Thank you. Number two. Were you were where did you grow up? Mm -hmm. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Mm -hmm. I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up. So I grew. Grew up. I grew up in Tokyo. Correct. Number three. Who was your first English teacher? Wait, excuse me. My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. Sato, as you say. Yeah, correct. Thank you. Number four. When did you come to New York? I came to New York in 1998. Correct, 1998, yes. And number five? Who was your first day in the youth? Mm -hmm. I grab, uh, pardon. <laughs> it, it was a little scary. Scary, a little scary. Correct, thank you. Next, section D. You're going to match the verbs to the nouns, okay? Match the verb with the correct words or phrases, okay? <coughs> so we have five in here. So we need five volunteers. Ocupamos cinco voluntarios, tenemos cinco personas acá. Veamos. Let's raise the hand, levanten la manita y lo vamos asignando. Okay. Ovidio, you will be number one. Monica, you will be number two. Elizabeth, you will be number three. Yancy, you will be number four. And Marbelli, no, Marbelli no puede. Reina, no, Natalie Patricia. Natalie Patricia me ayuda con el número cinco, por favor. Iniciamos. Ovidio. Had a picnic. Had a picnic. Okay, thank you. Number two. Played um, tennis. Played tennis. Number three. Two. Three. Oh yeah, number three, sorry. <laughs> Took photos. Correct. Took photos. Number four. Went swimming. Yes. And number five. So. Number five. Natalie. Hola. Sí, perdón, es que acaba de entrar. No problem. La número cinco sería so. Mm. Y selecciono una de estas. So, swimming. Tiene que ser algo que haga, que haga sentido. El verbo be en pasado. Be. ¿Qué so, significa eso? Be, el pasado de ver. Yo vi algo en pasado. Foros. Ese ya está con took. Took foros. <coughs> A play. Correct. ¿Qué le dije que era un play? 
Si ¿Sí se acuerdan que les dije, a play is, ¿qué les dije que era? Una presentación. Una obra, yes, una mm -hmm. obra. A play is una obra. Very good. Y con eso ustedes completan la sección D en el examen. And we move to section E. Vamos a la sección E, which is select the correct form of the verb. All right. This is multiple choice, so it's also very easy. Así que ocupamos, let's see, three people. Cada uno va a ser las dos que están, porque son dos por cada, por cada uno. Okay, so ocupamos tres personas. Ovidio, you can be number one. And we need two more volunteers. Nancy, you can be number two. And Elizabeth, you can be number three. Okay, Ovidio is number one A and number one B. Y tiene que seleccionar la pregunta. Está en mute, Ovidio. Vamos con Jancy, entonces, con la número uno, Jancy, por favor. Did you have a good weekend? Correct. Porque recordamos que auxiliary, subject, verb, in present. Okay, very good. And the answer, Jancy? Not really. I studied the first. Mm -hmm. Correct. Good. Number two sería um, Elizabeth. Did, did they do anything last weekend? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, they. I <clears throat> yes, they, <laughs> yes, they went hiking to in the woods. woods. Yes, the they woods. went hiking in the woods, correct. Number three, um, Natalie Patricia. Teacher. Did, she, did she get anything at the mall? At the mall, correct. Se compró algo en el centro comercial? No, she went shopping, but she didn't buy anything. Correct. Very good. Con eso ustedes completan la sección E. And then um, we're going to go with the read the article, okay? And then you're going to answer the questions. It's only three questions, so we're going to need, um, let's see, we have four paragraphs. Así que podemos ocupar a cuatro lectores. Uno para cada párrafo, okay? Home alone. We need four volunteers to read um, to read these paragraphs. Ocupamos cuatro voluntarios. Uno para cada párrafo, veamos. Okay, Elizabeth, you will read paragraph number one. Jancy, you will read paragraph number two. Natalie, you will read paragraph number three. And Marcelina Amalia, me ayuda con el párrafo número cuatro. Iniciamos. Jerry Carson, 16, had a terrible, a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got up, got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement, to the laundry. Okay, to the basement, al sótano, para lavar la ropa, to do laundry. Number two. He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door, the door was locked. He pushed on it, but it didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. <laughs> All right, number three. Luckily, Jerry had full to eat. There were some extra, how do you say? Groceries. Uh, groceries in the basement. Basement. In basement. Mm -hmm. And he had a place to, to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and slept on them. 
Thank you. And number four. His parents come home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called her Jerry last Saturday night, but he didn't answer the cell phone. The phone say her father. His we father. can we can home right away. We're just happy. He's all right. Thank you. Okay, let's answer question number one. Why did Jerry go to the basement? To talk to his neighbors, to do laundry, or to play Nintendo? To do laundry. Exactly, thank you. Number two, where did Jerry sleep? He slept on the floor, yeah, on his bed? On the floor. Correct. And number three, that would be the last one. Why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? Because Jerry didn't answer the telephone the phone when his parents called to check on him. Exactly, that is correct. And with that, you will be concluding the exam. Y con eso concluirían ustedes el examen, okay? So now we're going to go to the presentation. Give me one moment. Just make sure you finish it by tonight. Okay, solo asegúrense de que lo terminen ya sea para ahora después de la clase o mañana primera hora, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, so, uh, one moment, just Bear with me, please. Y ahora, okay. So, yesterday we were talking about affirmative and negative sentences using the verb to be, right? So now we're going to start talking about WH questions with did and with the verb to be, que sería was and where, okay? So, we need, um, same as we did yesterday, igual que hicimos ayer, vamos a ocupar seis lectores, uno para cada pregunta y respuesta, ¿de acuerdo? This is just for the, this part of the exercise. So we need six volunteers. So lo van a leer lo que ya está en pantalla. So raise your hand, levanten las manitas y se lo vamos asignando, ¿de acuerdo? Let's see. Ok, vamos a asignar entonces, son seis en total. Um, Rina, usted sería la número uno. Stacy Nicole, número dos. Sandra Noemi, número tres. Um, Ovidio, número cuatro. Mónica, número 5, and Jancy, número 6. Iniciamos. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. ¿Cómo se dice ese verbo? Les dije. I, I grew up. Mm -hmm. I, grew, I up. grew up in Texas. Correct. Ok, number two. Mm -hmm. When did you come to Los Angeles? Uh, I came, came, no sé cómo se pronuncia. I came, está bien. I came to Los Angeles in, ay, no sé cómo se dice ese número. 19. 1990. Ok. Okay, number three. Number three. Eh, no sé cuál me tocó. <laughs> okay, you can read number three then. Lea el número tres entonces. Why did you become a... Uh, Este no sé cómo se pronuncia. Hairstylist. Ayer la vimos. Hairstylist. Hairstylist. Uh -huh. Why did you come a hairstylist? Why did you become a hairstylist? Solo esa era. Y la respuesta está a la par. Because I 
because, because I need it. Because I need it. the money. Yes, because I needed the money. Number four. Number four. Okay, let's see. Mónica, ayúdame con la número cuatro, por favor. Okay, yo tenía las cinco. Ajá, yo sé. Igual leído. Thank you, yes. Ajá, igual leído, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Uh, how old were you in... Ahí se puede decir 100... Mm -mm. ¿Sí? 19. 19. 90. 90. Mm -hmm. 90. Yes, okay. 90. Y I was 18. ¿Le digo Correct. la 5 igual? Yes, please. Yes. What, what was your major in college? It was drama. Thank you. And Jancy, number 6, please. Okay. How was your college? It was great. <laughs> How was college? It was great. It was college. Okay. So the structure that you will follow, basically, Um, si se acuerdan con las preguntas de WH, siempre van ellas primero, dependiendo de qué pieza de información usted necesite. Where, dónde, when, cuándo, dependiendo de qué pieza de información usted necesite. Con esa WH question va a iniciar. Lo siguiente es el auxiliary. Did es para todos los verbos de acción. Ok, did es para todos los verbos de acción. Where did you grow up? ¿A dónde creciste? When did you come to Los Angeles? ¿Cuándo viniste a Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? ¿Por qué te volviste un estilista? ¿Ok? Pero el was o el where son específicamente para preguntar por fue o estuvo. ¿Ok? What was your major in college? ¿Cuál fue tu especialidad en, en la universidad? ¿Ok? How was college? cómo estuvo o cómo fue el colegio, ¿ok? La universidad. So, vuelvo y repito, la estructura es la misma. WH question, auxiliary, solo que con did, después de did va a ir un verbo en presente, sujeto y verbo en presente. Con was o where va a ir solo eso y directamente al complemento, ¿ok? Porque está preguntando fue o estuvo, ¿ok? Um, And we have some guiding examples in here. Teacher. Dígame. ¿Qué significaba la pregunta 4? How old were you in 1990? Ok. En presente sería how old are you? Ahorita, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántos? Qué, bueno, no cuántos años tienes. ¿Qué edad tienes? ¿De qué edad eres? How old are you? El pasado de are es para segunda persona you es where. Entonces le está preguntando qué edad tenías en 1990. Ok. In my case, in 1990, I was one year old. I was one year old in 1990, right? So, esa es la pregunta. ¿Qué edad tenías en 1990? Ok. And we have two sentences here. ¿Quién me ayuda a leerlas? Ocupo dos voluntarios para leer los ejemplos. Veamos. Let's see. Let Jancy help me with number one and Elizabeth help me with number two, please. Okay. Where did you buy that dress? I bought it in Sara. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Number two. How was your weekend? It was good. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Y entonces, tenemos las dos estructuras, si se fijan. Una con did y verbo de acción. Y la otra con el verbo fue o estuvo, ¿ok? Where did you buy that dress? ¿A dónde compraste ese vestido? Y, how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo tu fin de semana? ¿Ok? You can ask questions with both, with both versions, basically. ¿Ok? So, we're going to do an exercise. Ocupamos cuatro lectores. Cada uno va a leer sobre uno de los personajes que está ahí el cuadrito. Ok, so vamos a ocupar cuatro lectores primero y después vamos a contestar las preguntas que están ahí. Jancy, you will be number one and Rina number two. 
Jancy, you are J.K. Rowling. Rina, usted es la K, número dos. Elizabeth, número tres. Y ocupamos un lector más. Kevin, usted me ayuda con el número cuatro. Vamos. Ok. J.K. Rowling was born in 1965. Mm -hmm. She wrote many books, including include the Harry Potter series. Thank you. Number two. Robert, what's your name? How do you say? Downey. Robert Downey Jr. Junior. Junior. Robert Downey Jr. was born in 1965. He acted in movies and TV series. Uh -huh. He was Iron Man in four movies. Thank you. Number three. Selena Gomez <clears throat> was born in 1992. 1992. She, <laughs> 19, 1992. Uh -huh. She was a Disney actress. She recorded her first album when she was 17. Thank you. And number four. Frida Kahlo. Uh -huh. Lived uh, in Mexico. She painted self painted. She painted self for portraits. No sé a portrait. Mm -hmm. She got married to Diego Rivera. Thank you. Ok, como reminder, como recordatorio. Acuérdense que todos los verbos regulares, los que terminan en ed, son regulares. Ed. Pero existen tres formas de pronunciación. Una con d, como played. Una con t, como cooked. Y existe una de la zona id. Ok. Por ejemplo, y todas las palabras que terminan en t o en P, esas son las que ustedes van a pronunciar la id al final. Y aquí tienen un ejemplo. Acted. Ok. He acted. Aquí sí van a decir acted. Right? Um, y acá, she painted. Painted. Suena el id cuando el verbo termina en P o en T. Ok. So, just for you to remember. All right. Now we're going to answer the questions. Por alguna razón, escribieron mal la pregunta. Aquí no es when did Selena born. It's when was Selena born. Esa sería la primera pregunta. When was Selena Gomez born? Let's see. She was born in? 1992. Uh -huh. Correct. She was born in 1992. Number two, leamos, leamos, I need ocho, son ocho las que quedan, así que ocupamos ocho voluntarios, levanten la mano para asignarse, ¿de acuerdo? Así las desarrollamos en orden, leamos. Ok, son ocho, levantemos la mano los demás, por favor, los que no han participado. Ok, Marcelina, you will be number two. Usted, vamos, empezamos desde la número dos. Así que Marcelina, usted es la número dos. Rina, usted es la número tres. Natalie, número cuatro. Elizabeth del Carmen, número cinco. Catherine Iracema, número seis. Kevin Daniel, número siete. Mónica, número ocho. Y Ovidio, número nueve. Ok, iniciamos. Número dos. Marcelina, número dos. How many times Robert was Iron Man? Uh -huh. Robert. Uh -huh. Was actress in the movies in the TV series. Uh -uh. ¿Qué nos está preguntando en la dos, Marcelina? En español, ¿cómo traduces esta la pregunta? 
me está preguntando como how many times cuántas veces y tenemos el verbo ser o estar en pasado fue o estuvo cuántas oh. veces Robert fue Iron Man oh. sería he uh -huh. Robert he was Iron Man in four movies Correct. Thank you. Number three. Who did Frida marry to? Mm -hmm. uh, she was married to Diego Rivera. Yes. Acá no tenía que ir de who, uh, who, who did Frida marry to? Mm -hmm. Yes. Diego Mar Rivera. Correct. Thank you. Number four, Celia. Number four. Where did Frida live? She lived in Mexico. Correct. Thank you. Number five. <clears throat> okay. What book, what books did J.K. Rowling write? Mm -hmm. She wrote many books, including the Harry Potter yes, series. Yes, included the Harry Potter series. <laughs> Thank you. Number six. Number six. ¿Quién tenía la número 6? Hello, number 6. Veamos, Reina Esperanza, ayúdeme con el número 6, por favor. Oh, oh, where was Selena? Record. Recorded. When her first album was recorded, how old was Selena? She was six, uh, 17. Correct. Yes, she was 17. Very good. Number seven. <clears throat> Number seven. ¿Quién tenía asignada número siete? Siento que no me están poniendo atención. Number seven, ¿quién tenía asignado el número siete? Otherwise, we're gonna have to check. Sandra Noemi, está por ahí, Sandra. Me ayuda con el número siete, por favor. Wendy. Wendy. J.K. Rowling. Rowing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, y ahí sería when was she born? Wendy. When was J.K. Rowling born? Mm -hmm. J.K. Rowling born. Was born in no me acuerdo cómo salía ese número. 1965. 1965. Correct. Thank you. Number eight. Where did Robert act? He acted in movies and TV series. Perfect. Thank you. And number nine. Um, Where did Frida paint? Uh -huh. she, she painted her portraits. Uh -huh. But where? Uh, what? What did Frida paint? Yes. She, yes, she painted okay. self-portraits. Correct. Perfect. Very good. All right. 
So now what you're going to do, you're going to select from this vocabulary word here. There's a list of the vocabulary acá, a la izquierda. Ustedes van a clasificar cuáles son clases, cuáles son schools y cuáles son places. Okay? So, for example, classroom es un lugar. Salón de clases, right? So that's a place. Okay? Vamos, Marcelina. College. Um, a school. A schools. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Natalie Patricia, elementary. Mm, no sé qué significa dicha. Básico. Como escuela, educación básica, elementary, en Estados Unidos van elementary school, middle school, high school. Sería school. Correct. Number three, Jim, um, Kevin. Creo que sería places. Yes. Jim, it's a place. All right. Hi. Ovidio. Um, schools. Correct. Hi. Como high school. En la categoría de escuelas. Next. We're going with. Um, Rina de los Angeles. History. History. Uh, history is classes. Mm, veamos. Classes, dijo. Okay. Ah, okay. Yes, classes. Correct. Next, we go with junior high. Um, Sandra Noemi. Junior high. Sport. Correct. <laughs> Thank you. Next, we're going with. Um, Jancy, lunchroom. Jancy, lunchroom. Lunchroom. El cuarto donde almorzamos, la sala de almuerzos. ¿En qué categoría va? Place. Places, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Math, matemáticas. Natalie. School. Matemáticas. ¿En una? ¿Qué categoría sería, Natalie? Matemáticas. School. <laughs> no hay escuelas de matemáticas. Sería clase. Clases. Math classes, physical education. Vamos con physical education. Stacy Nicole. Disculpe, teacher, ¿cuál me tocaba? Physical education. Eh, no sé, creo que va en. ¿Cómo? ¿En qué categoría la pondría? In classes. Correct. Yes, that is good. <laughs> classes. Yes. Vamos con Kevin. Playground. Is places. Yes, playground. El área de juegos. Correct. And number la última. Na, uh, Monica. Science. Class. Science, it's class, correct. That's going for classes. Okay. And now we have the three guiding examples, right? Where did you go to college? What were your favorite subjects in elementary? And so on. So what you're going to do is that you're going to write um, three questions. Van a escribir tres preguntas de información. Pueden ser con el auxiliar did y un verbo, o pueden ser con el verbo to be en pasado, was or where, ¿de acuerdo? En total tienen que escribir tres preguntas que se las van a hacer a uno de sus compañeros o compañeras, y las van a ir contestando entre ustedes, ¿ok? 
Por ejemplo, yo le puedo preguntar a Jancy, Jancy, where did you go to, where did you go to first grade? ¿A dónde asistió usted a primer grado? Where did you go to first grade? Yancy, ah, I went to first grade in colegio tal cosa, o escuela tal cosa, right? And then second question, Yancy, were you happy in your last uh, vacation? Were you happy in your last vacation? Yancy, no, I wasn't happy because I didn't go out. <laughs> and tercera pregunta, vuelvo y repito, puede ser de nuevo con el auxiliary did, o puede ser con was or where. For example, Yancy, was your family in the house when it rained? Yancy, yes, they were in the house when it rained, right? So, tres preguntas, ya sea con did y un verbo o con el verbo to be was or were. Preguntas que sus compañeros les puedan contestar, ¿de acuerdo? Son las 8.49, les voy a dar cuatro minutos, así que a las 53 podemos iniciar. Si tiene preguntas o dudas de cómo se dice algo, cómo se pregunta algo, you can ask. We have two more minutes. Nos quedan dos minutos más. Teacher. Yes. Hey, ¿Cómo se dice deporte? Quiero poner cuál es tu deporte favorito. Your favorite sport. Sport. Mm -hmm. And we have one more minute. Nos queda un minuto más. Thank you. 
All right, it's 8.53. Los que ya tienen sus preguntas, podemos iniciar con ustedes. Levanten la mano, por favor. Thank you. Iniciamos con Jancy. Usted le va a hacer sus preguntas a Ovidio. Ok. Where did you go yesterday, Ovidio? Eh, ¿Cómo no? No entendí muy bien. Okay. Where, where, where did you go yesterday? Uh, I, I did. I went. I went. Okay. I went to go in, in the park. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. What was your worst birthday? Birthday. Su peor cumpleaños. ¿Cuál fue? What was your worst birthday with you? Um, <laughs> la verdad no, no tuve cumpleaños. Mm -hmm. Vaya, pero trate de contestar igual. Eh, aunque invente, puede decir my worst birthday no. was y dice cualquier número de sus cumpleaños. Um, ¿Cómo se dice peor en inglés? Worst. 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 Yes. My worst birthday was. Uh, my worst birthday was. Uh, um, 12 October. Okay. Okay. And the last one. Where were you born? Where were you born, Olivia? ¿A dónde nació? I was born in... I was born in San Salvador. Perfect. Thank you, Jancy. Olivia, usted le va a hacer sus preguntas a Rina de Los Ángeles. Okay. Um, Rina, what is your favorite subject? Uh, my favorite subject is physical education. Okay. Okay. And where did you study in high school? I studied in in San Francisco. Okay. And the third question with you? Did you like to math? Did you like math? Um, Yes, I did. Oh, no, I did. Oh, so so. So so. <laughs> All right. Solamente sería así o I like so so. No, solamente so so. Uh -huh. no, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you, Ovidio. Rina, usted le va a hacer sus preguntas a Kevin. Kevin, where do you go in vacation? I, I, I go. I went. I went. Uh huh. I went. Hmm. I went to visit to? my family. I went to visit my family. I went to visit my family. Okay. Number two. What were your favorites for? Uh, could you repeat me, please? What were your favorite sports? ¿Está preguntando en plural o en singular? Sport. Sport. Oh. Entonces es, what was your favorite what sport? Was sport? Uh -huh. My favorite sport is uh, football. Was and is. <laughs> Fue y es. Was and is. Football. Was and is. Okay. Thank you. Rina, number three. Um, what did you do in your graduation? What did you do in your graduation, Kevin? I don't understand. <laughs> what did you do in your graduation? Did you oh. dance? Did you cry? Hmm. <laughs> 
I I was very happy. All right, very good. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Usted le va a preguntar a Elizabeth del Carmen. Okay, um, Elizabeth. Um, uh, where did you Where did you go the last weekend? I went. I went to the shopping uh, on Saturday. Okay, number two. Oh, um, where did stay inventando? <laughs> <laughs> ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Hmm. Um, what were your favorite song? Um, um, ¿Me está en singular o en plural, Kevin? Um, singular. Entonces es was o were? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. what? What was? Ah, ok. What was your favorite uh, song? Okay, what was your favorite song? Mm -hmm. My favorite song was um, The Messy Bimbo. All right, good song. <laughs> and the last question, Kevin? Yeah, finally, uh, what, where, <laughs> what were your favorite uh, food? De nuevo? What was your Foods. favorite food? Si es singular, was, y si es plural, where. Uh -huh. And foods, no? Foods, comidas. Mm -hmm. Okay. My favorite food was Chinese food. Very good. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> All right. Um, Elizabeth, usted le va a preguntar a Jancy. Hi, Jancy. Where did you go to the college? I went to college, college of language. All right. Second question. <clears throat> Who was your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher was my English teacher. <laughs> Very well. <Okay>. And, <laughs> and where did you <clears throat> where did you do last week? What did you do? What did you do last week? Last weekend. I, mm -hmm. Weekend, yes, and I did nothing. <laughs> I just I stayed at home. Very good, thank you. <laughs> All right, everyone. Con eso terminamos la clase de ahora. Los veo el día de mañana para repaso general. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you.